Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm gonna to be doing a quick video to show you how to use the heart rate feature on your Garmin Instinct watch. I like to start my video by saying I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar non-tactical watch. This video should work no matter which version of the Garmin Instinct you have, whether it's the solar, non-solar, tactical, or not tactical. Uh, the other thing I'll mention is I'm using the watch as delivered from Garmin. I haven't made any adjustments to any of the hotkeys. So one of the cool features of this watch is that you've got the ability to track your heart rate and that also tracks other things like your stress level, uh, your body battery, stuff like that. I'm going to show you how to do that. And there's a couple of different ways you can view your heart rate information. Uh, one of them, if you've watched my other videos, if you know the basics of the Garmin Instinct, is you can add it as a data element on your watch face. Now, I don't currently have it on there. I'll walk through it real quick just to add it. I'm going to press and hold the menu button. I'm going to press GPS to select watch face. I'm going to stay on this one and I'm going to select customize. And I'm just going to put it up here. Uh, these are your different data element screens. You can really put it uh, in multiple places. For me, I like it there. I'm going to go ahead and select it. And I'm going to finish out the screen. And now I've successfully added the heart rate a monitor. You'll notice that there's two lines because there's no heart rate. It's because it's not on my wrist. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Uh, obviously, in order to get the heart rate information, you're going to need to have it on your wrist. So bear with me a second. A couple of things about the heart rate. Uh, when you're wearing the watch, you want to have it nice and snug. You don't want the watch moving at all when you're doing any kind of exercises or walking around. Uh, the other thing is you want to have it above your uh, wrist bone here. And you don't want to be wearing any kind of sunscreen, insect repellent, um, lotion, anything like that under the watch. You want to keep the sensor on the bottom of the watch as clean as possible to get an accurate reading. You'll notice after I put the watch on, you can now see my heart rate. I'm currently at 79 beats per minute. So that's the first way you can view your heart rate information. The other way is with everything on this watch, there's usually a widget for it. So the data screen is just gonna show you the basics. If you wanna see more information, you can add it to your widget loop. Now I've got a video out there that shows you how to add things to your widget loop. So if you don't have it in there, you might wanna watch that video and see how you can add it. But I've already got it. So I'm gonna press the up or down button to get to my widgets. And there's the heart rate widget. Again, it'll show you your current heart rate but it'll also show you your high and low heart rate for the last four hours, as well as a trend graph over the last four hours. While I'm in the widget, if I wanna see more information, I can press the GPS button and I can see my last seven day trend. So my average heart rate over the last seven days has been 57 beats per minute. And then you can see the trend over the days. Also, while you're in the widget, I'll we'll press the back button to get back to it. If you hold down the menu button, you can get your heart rate options. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. If you wanna turn off the heart rate completely so that you're uh, not tracking it at all, on the status, you can just toggle by pressing the GPS button, but you'll notice you're gonna get this message that it's gonna cut off the heart rate, body battery, stress, and other features. So I'm not gonna do that. But if you did wanna turn off your heart rate feature, that's how you would do it. You also have the ability to say, do you want the heart rate being tracked while you're swimming? Yes or no. You can also set alerts. Do you want uh, abnormal heart rate alerts? If you select this, you'll see that you can set alert. If your heart rate gets abnormally high, you can get an alert on your watch. You can also set an alert if your heart rate gets abnormally low. So that's kind of a cool feature, especially if you're somebody who's really into health or maybe you're having heart issues or maybe you've got stress, stress issues if you're supposed to be keeping an eye on. I think that's a pretty neat feature. Last but not least, you can do broadcast. Now you'll notice I'm gonna go ahead and start broadcasting my heart rate. You really don't need to do this unless you've got another Garmin device that you're trying to send your heart rate information from your Garmin Instinct over to it. But I just wanna show you what it's doing. You'll notice that there's a heart here and it's showing a little broadcast signal that lets me know that it's broadcasting my heart rate. Once you're done, you can press any button to get out of that. Again, uh, unless you've got another device that you're trying to send it to, you really wouldn't need that feature. And then you can choose whether or not to broadcast it during an activity, yes or no. Once you're done with those features, you can press the back button, get back to your widget, and then you can press back to go to your main screen. Really neat feature, uh, very basic. What I'll do now is I'm gonna go ahead and show you 
what it looks like in the Garmin Connect app. So the Garmin Instinct basically tracks your information, but if you want to see some more detailed information, some more graphical information, as with a lot of things, you'll want to go to the Garmin Connect app and look at the information on the Garmin Connect app. We'll do that real quick so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so as I mentioned, let's take a look at the app and we can view the heart rate information on our Garmin Connect app. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and we'll go in there. And as always, when you go into your Garmin Connect app, it should automatically sync to your watch and start pulling some information over. You'll notice in my day, you can see my heart rate information. And I've also got it set to see yesterday and the last seven days. On any one of those, you can click on heart rate and it'll take you to the information for that day. So for example, today you can see my heart rate trend from six o'clock this morning until the current time. Now you'll notice that before six o'clock this morning, there's no heart rate information. That's because I've got it set to not track my heart rate during my sleep time. Uh, that's a feature you can turn on or off to save battery life. I've got it uh, cut off. Um, if you've got heart issues, it's probably good just to let it track your heart rate all the time, but I have it turned off. You can click on the arrows up at the top to go back and look at a previous day. Again, you see the little icons at the bottom. There's an alarm clock and then there's Z's. Uh, that's basically letting you know when you wake up and then when your sleep time starts. Again, you might not see that on yours if you're not turning off the heart rate tracking while you're sleeping. If you click on the three dots in the top corner, you can go in, you can adjust your uh, settings. So you can set a alert for heart, high heart rate and low heart rate. We just saw this earlier when we looked at the Garmin Instinct watch, same feature that's on the watch. The other thing is if you go down, instead of looking at my day, you can click on it under your last seven days and you can see more information over a longer trend. So you'll notice that uh, for the last seven days, here's been my trend. Over the last four weeks, there's my information. You can even go back as far as previous years. On any one of these, if I wanna see it for, let's say, for example, I'm gonna to go to seven days. If I wanna click and see the date, all you have to do is click on the date to get back to that information. For the year, I can click on any month and see a month view of it. Kind of the same as what's on the watch. The only difference is here, you have a longer uh, historical trend that you can look at versus on the watch where you can only see the last four hours or the last seven days. So anyway, that's a quick look at looking at your heart rate on the Garmin Connect app. As always, I hope this video helps or at least gives you some idea of how the heart rate monitoring works on your Garmin Instinct watch. Thanks for watching. If you got any questions, post them in the comments and I'll try and help you out.